What is up, bros and brats? I am Sasha44, and today we're going to answer the question, how good is the CUDA SMG? Yesterday, I actually tweeted out asking you guys which weapon you guys wanted me to use, but it was weird. Everyone gave me a different weapon, and I guess that kind of makes sense because, basically, the weapon balance is so damn good in this game that everyone's going to want to know about different weapons. I had some overlap, but the one I decided to go with is the CUDA, and we're going to look at the stats of it and talk about how freaking overrated this gun is. Yes! Everyone gives this gun so many praises, and that's why I decided to use this gun, is because I don't think it's a very good weapon. That being said, there are some good stats on it, and there is some good things to note up into a certain area. Now, that being said, everyone praises this as like the best SMG, one of the best guns in the game. I can think of three SMGs alone that are better than this weapon easy like easily and in fact we've done a versus with this weapon and it lost and there is definitely some reasons why and i'm going to talk about why by the end of this video but first we need to look at the stats of this weapon and kind of understand better some things about this weapon by the way i am not at all saying this is a bad weapon i just don't think it's overpowered or amazing like everyone seems to be saying so as far as the damage profile goes we have 35 damage up close 30 at mid short range i guess you can call it 23 at mid long range and 19 at super super long range now uh this ranges from a three to a six bullet kill but most of the time you're going to be looking at a four bullet kill um now that being said, sometimes you get into that longer range, you're going to be looking at a 5-bullet kill, but almost never a 6-bullet kill. Now, the next most important thing to look at is the rate of fire. The rate of fire is 723 RPM, and that is super, super slow for SMGs in this game. For a comparison, if we look at something, let's say, like the VMP, that has a 909 fire rate. If we look at something like the Pharaoh, again, has a 909 fire rate. Look at something like the Vesper. The Vesper has a 1200 fire rate. So compared to all of those, it is a very, very, very slow fire rate. The only weapon that's an SMG that has a slower fire rate than that is the Razorback. So not a very great fire rate whatsoever. That being said, the damage profile does make up for it. But, if we compare this to the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh has the exact same damage profile with a better fire rate. So, this is kind of what I'm getting at. There are good stats, but overall, it just ends up being an average weapon. Another one of the stats we can look at is the magazine size. There is 30 bullets in a magazine for this weapon. This is, again, the lowest in the SMG class. This is tied with the Vesper and the Razorback. However, still lowest in class. Another thing we can look at is the reload time. So the reload time with a full magazine, or not empty in other words, is 1.8 seconds. This is actually good. This is one of the better stats of this weapon, and when empty, it's 2.3 seconds. That is actually best in class. So that is the one thing it really has going for it. Another thing we can look at is aim down sights time. Uh, aim down sights time is 0.2 seconds. Again, best in class, there are only, it can only get worse from there when using an SMG. But the important stats, like the damage and fire rate, are not the best in class. Um, they're average. They're very, very, very average. In fact, if we go and look at the most important stat in the game, time to kill, this weapon falls right in the middle of the SMGs. There's definitely some worse SMGs than this, one of them being the Weevil, which we'll talk about another day. And the Razorback also has a worse time to kill. But this one is right after that. The uh, other weapons, like the Pharaoh, the Vesper. The Vesper has the fastest time to kill. It has an insane time to kill. But that being said, when you get into mid-range, the Pharaoh has a better time to kill. So those two weapons are both definitely better than the CUDA. So why does everyone consider this weapon to be so damn good? Why am I saying it's so damn bad? And it's because it's 100% average in every situation whatsoever. And in this game, that's not what you need. Since the weapon balance is so, so good in Black Ops 3, you need weapons that are good in one way or another. And what I mean by this is weapons like the Gorgon or the Shiva that have a super, super high damage but a low fire rate really, really excel at long ranges. Or a weapon like the Vesper, that has a super low damage profile, but a super high fire rate, you just work it, work around the map so you're up close to people, and then you're dominating with that. Weapons in this game that are just overall average will get outgunned in one situation or another by those extremely good weapons at those situations. And that's where the weapon balance kind of goes on its head, is when you play with your weapon properly. As soon as you play with a Gorgon and keep your range, as soon as you play with a Vesper and don't keep your range, that is when you dominate in this game. And really there is no super, super overpowered weapons, 
but if you use a weapon properly, it can be overpowered in your hands. And this, unfortunately, is just not one of those weapons. That being said, if I was to give this weapon a grade like I'm trying to do with everything in this game, it's a B-. minus. It's not a horrible weapon. I don't give it a C. It's definitely, like, in the 70 percentile. And that's good. Like, it's a good weapon, and it's definitely, definitely usable. It's just not top tier, in my opinion. So a B- is what I give this weapon. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you love the CUDA? Do you love some other weapons? What do you think in the comment section below? If you enjoyed the video and found it informative, a like rating would be super, super greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, peace out.